Hello and welcome to episode 259 and happy Thursday. Um, I'm your host James for Gaming and I'm playing Open T3 on a huge Europe map. So since the last episode I have connected up uh, most of Albania um, and put in another 30 or so uh, lines. Uh, so we have activated the uh, let me see, here we are. Activated the horse market in Tirana and also sent some sand over to Senica and also a bunch of timber over there. Uh, it's over here somewhere. There we go. The industrial park. So this one now gets a um, bunch of iron, some timber, have some outgoing metal. It has the sand, it has even more timber. So it has plenty of stuff, which is great. That means it is now producing. Um, and the um, metal is, of course, going to Skodra. Um, that is also producing then engineering and farm supplies. Um, I put on some engineering supplies from there. Um, not many, I don't remember. Two. Um, also sent some bauxite, where are we here, um, that is being uh, sent over to Poland. Um, so a lot of things were set up, Pristren also has some bauxite, uh, by the way. Um, so I've got all the way over to El Basani and to this uh, nice little lake, which I do not remember the name of. Uh, Orhid is in Macedonia, or the northern Macedonia, sorry. Um, Korsa, I believe, is in Albania, actually. Anyway, um, so I assume that there will be a line here that this one will connect into. Um, so, I had a complaint, or a suggestion, rather, um, from uh, the user Gilgamesh. Um, and that was regarding the UK stuff where we have massive, well, we actually don't have a single train here for the moment. We used to have a massive problem here and it actually slowed down quite a lot in the Sunday episode, apparently. Um, but it is thick in here as well. So the to make a very efficient, um, train system in uh, in open DCD is basically to make one double tracked line for everything <laughs> meaning the uh, iron here going for example here to the steel mill we just make the shortest route possible just demolish everything in the way and make it double tracked then do the same for the coal, so it comes into the same station but on separate um, tracks, so it, they never cross. Those are the absolute most efficient way of building a railway, and that's also the case actually in real life. The most efficient railway build is a straight line between two places um, and just demolish anything in between. But that's not how railways are usually built. So what I wanted to do was just to try to build railways as they actually are with so there are no flyovers flyovers do exist in railways it is not very common but in um, larger metropolis like London there is a bunch of them because it's needed um, to get everything to get all the throughput um, that, that you would require um, but I honestly don't want to build that way um, the oldest picture I have that I found because there were some competition in a uh, or not a competition but a, a, a question or something in, in one in some chat forum somewhere the oldest open T3 picture you have and I looked at the oldest one I could find uh, and the oldest one I could find or the oldest game I could find I seem to have stopped in the middle of trying to make a 
a huge junction with flyovers and pass unders and everything um, where four tracks cross four tracks so you can get from every single track to every single track I looked at that one and then I remembered that's the reason because I started to do those and it kind of took away my joy for the game in a sense because I like to I like to um, play around a little bit with problems with trying to get single tracks to work I can see you have a major problem here for example right now because we have a very long piece of single track um, to get the single tracks to work um, and see what is possible to do with that um, because there are really many things that you can do and some things that you can't do and test the limits and see if it is possible to connect everything um, and still have a playable game which might not be the case but still let's do this here um, so that was my plan with this one two three four five six seven eight nine um, because I like to make it difficult for myself sometimes um, so it's just an organically growing network of lines connecting everything on the map um, I have kind of scrapped the idea with putting um, passengers on because I simply don't see how that would work out because we are just overcrowded anyway um, and another thing was that I don't want to use um, four tracks or quad tracks Double tracks is fine, but quad tracks is really unusual as well in the train real world. So therefore I really avoid using them. I don't think I have them anywhere. I have three tracks down here simply because the capaci capacity wasn't there for a double track with this junction in. I could make, make it a flyover, um, but I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to play it my way my style and the same with the stations so the idea with the stations is that you can get from any track to sorry from any incoming track to any station track to any outgoing track i used to actually um not uh, uh direction what's it called well i i, I didn't used to do like this you have three going in this direction and three in this direction i used to have so that everyone can go in both directions um that does have a problem though that you will suddenly because you have more traffic in one direction than the other it will suddenly start clogging up in one direction and then you will get a total stop in the other direction because well you simply can't get them through because it's full waiting in one direction um, so therefore I've done them like this three and three or two and two um, I think there was some place where I did one oh that's because sorry yeah I, I have one or two places where I simply weren't allowed to bulldoze or terraform enough to put a station in so it was just a two track that was somewhere in Italy I think uh, I managed to get Genoa through San Remo oh, in Monaco. So here we have uh, not two next to each other going the same way, but one going east, one west, one east, one west. Uh, because that means we can get to these from both sides and we can get the passing tracks from both sides. Um, one way to solve it, of course, is to put in a bus route and wait for a very long time and then they will be happy again, but uh, I didn't do that. It's something I should have done. Um, anyway, um, and the goal was basically to build an organic network without any gamey stuff, because I don't, I really don't find them interesting so to say I prefer building building it 
uh, simple, even though it doesn't work very well. Um, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, that's just my way of doing things. Um, so in some places it just needs, I, I just need to upgrade the, the capacity. Um, doing that, the problem is like here, I have put a junction down here, that's fine. I have something here, I have something here, something here, another junction here, something here and into a station there, and I have something here and into a station there. Uh, and that's kind of holding a lot of trains up, um, which means that I might need to revisit this piece really, because it's really slow <laughs> in this direction. Um, but it's also really slow here, so, and this one is also nightmares. So therefore I put this one in to at least get some trains another way. Um, so exactly how I sort it out, I don't know, we'll see. But um, I prefer to build it this way, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, so um, what we did was Albania, and I'm going to move on, um, because if I, let me see, let's open this one instead. So. My first idea was to continue with Greece. The problem is that we have a bunch of stuff in Greece that needs to go somewhere else. And that means all of them have to go through this or this line. If we just expand now. So therefore I would like to um, get cracking on Romania first. Uh, the reason being that that will open up new lines to Greece. Uh, so we will have not only the coastal line here and the inland line here, but we will also get a third one here to Belgrade that way. We will also get, I have put in actually where the bridges are. So the, the bridges over the Danube are at Vidin, um, or rail bridges that is, and at Rouge. And then there's one over here at Constanza. Um, there isn't any one over here in the Danube Delta. Mm -hmm. So Constanza is the last one. So we'll have to work on that. But I would assume that from here I'm going to scoot north and to Bucharest. Uh, but we'll see. So um, anyway, so Romania is on the menu for uh, Sunday. Um, and I think I had three farm supply, three, four, five, six, seven, seven farm supply lines left in Albania to fix first. And then we'll get cracking in uh, Romania. I don't know how long, far I will get, but we'll see. That depends on the weather and how many other things are happening at the same time. So, yes. That was this episode. Thank you for watching. Have fun. And I hope uh, Gilgamesh got uh, answers to his questions.